Many of you guys probably know that I don't make weekly videos anymore, but I'm going to make an exception this week after putting out the 97 year review last week because of this product. This is AMD's new Ryzen 9 9950X 3D, and it might be the best CPU that I've ever used. So AMD sent over the 9950X 3D to me about a week ago. And in addition to the actual testing that you're gonna see in this video, I've actually been using it in my daily workflow. So that not only includes watching YouTube videos, but also doing video editing now that I'm kind of coming back to YouTube. And it has impressed me at every turn. So it's not only the fastest gaming CPU that I've ever used, which I guess is its hallmark, but it's the fastest uh, everything CPU that I've ever used. I do a lot of photo editing. It's fantastic in Photoshop. I'm doing video editing again now. It's been fantastic in DaVinci Resolve. And yeah, I've done some gaming and it's fantastic there too. So hopefully this doesn't make for a boring video because I don't have a whole lot of bad things to say about this. In fact, maybe the only thing is the price. This is gonna be $700 at launch. So it's definitely not gonna be for everybody. It's a pricey piece of equipment. But if it's something that you can leverage in your workflow or in your game flow, it's definitely worth it. But before we get to the numbers, let's just talk briefly about the 9950X 3D and my testing environment here. So as with the 9950X and the 7950X, this is a 16 core, 32 thread CPU. This run runs off of the Zen 5 architecture, just like the 9800X 3D that came out a few months ago. The difference with this generation of X3D processor is that AMD has actually moved the 3D vCache from on top of the CPU dies to underneath the CPU dies. Now this might not seem like a big deal, but according to AMD, it leads to a 46% improvement in thermal resistance and therefore lower temperatures. Now, while we're not gonna get into specific temperature readouts today with my testing, simply because I was using an open air test bench and this doesn't replicate actual real world usage, I will say that I did not run into any thermal throttling issues when I was doing my testing. And the CPU has a TJ Maxx of 95C and the max that I saw, even under the heaviest workloads, was 79C. This is with a 360 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler. All of my testing for this video was run on an open air bench, as we mentioned earlier. I used the Be Quiet 360 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler, 32 gigs of DDR5-6000, and an NVIDIA RTX 4090 FE. Now, something that is very important here, if you get the CPU, make sure that you are updating your motherboard's BIOS to the latest available release and also downloading and installing the AMD chipset driver. This is absolutely crucial to the proper functioning of the CPU for gaming workloads. The chipset driver allows half of the cores to be parked during games, only engaging the CCX with the 3D vCache and leveraging that to generate faster gaming performance. So let's talk results. In these tests that you're gonna see, I ran the 9950X 3D up against my 13900K, as well as the prior generation gaming flagship, the 7800X 3D. We ran through some productivity tests as well as some gaming benchmarks. Now the gaming benchmarks that you're gonna see were run at 1080p and low settings. I know this is a little controversial because hardly anybody plays these games with this hardware at those settings, and I understand that. But the reason that we do it this way is that this is what's actually going to stress the CPU the absolute most and you're going to see performance differences in this graphical setting that you would not see otherwise. With that said, let's dive into the results and uh, I guess I'm gonna spoil this a little bit for you. The 9950X 3D wins every single slide you're about to see, so yeah. First up is Cinebench R23, where the 9950X 3D trounces both of the other chips. Now, while we would expect that up against the 7800X 3D due to it having double the cores, the Intel chips have always been strong here. The 9950X 3D trounces the 13900K not only in multi-core workflows, but also in single-core performance. Granted, the 13900K is no longer the flagship of Intel's lineup, but it is still highly relevant and a really good CPU. 
Next up, we'll do some video transcoding with Handbrake, where these scores are measured in seconds and lower is better. The 9950X3D again shows its chops for an actual part of my daily workflow, completing the task in half the time in the 7800X3D. In Blender, I ran the entire suite of benchmarks with similar results across the board. These are the scores for only the monster scene, with the 9950X3D blasting way ahead, beating the 13900K by about 30%. DaVinci Resolve is my new editing software of choice, and Puget Systems makes the best benchmarking software in the business for it. The 9950X3D outperforms the 13900K by about 8%, and the 7800X3D by about 17%. Photoshop is my other go-to production software, and again, the 9950X3D impresses here in what has traditionally been an Intel stronghold. It's about 26% faster than the 13900K in this test, again, using the Puget Bench suite. Now let's look at some gaming titles, again, all in 1080p low, in order to properly stress the CPU and not the GPU. I'll let some music play during these slides and check back in in a minute. So overall, the 9950X 3D is about 31% better in gaming applications than the 13900K and about 9% better in gaming applications than the 7800X 3D. Now, 9% over the previous generation 8-core chip might not seem like a huge number, but it is certainly significant and also comes along with the added benefit of being an absolute beast in everything else that you're doing. So it's awesome at video editing. It's awesome at photo editing. It transcodes really fast. It does tile-based rendering like Blender and Cinebench better than any other chip that I've ever tested. Now, granted, I don't have a 9950X non-3D in the studio to test, and perhaps maybe that would be slightly better than this. But if you're also adding the fact that you could game at the absolute highest level with a processor that also does everything else extremely well, uh, this definitely gets my highest recommendation. So what do you guys think of AMD's latest, the 9950X 3D? Is this something that you're going to be looking to upgrade to? Let me know down below in the comments. Is it maybe too expensive for you, which is certainly reasonable? Or is it worth it for everything that it provides? Thanks again for taking a look at this review video, and I will be back with you soon with another one. Take care.